Would you tell us what happened to the joint venture between Berkshire, J.P. Morgan, and Amazon to investigate what could be done about the current state of med medical health care in the United States? We learned a lot about the, the difficulty of changing around an industry that's 17% of GDP. We, we accomplished a, a lesser objective, which was probably more important to us even than either J.P. Morgan or the Amazon, because we knew less about our own system than they did. They, they knew that uh, there were more centralized operations. So we, we got some benefits in the sense that we looked at 60 or 70 different operations we had presently. And, and, and that was, that's one case where uh, a certain amount of centralization, at, at least in certain aspects of it, could save real money. I mean, we, we found inefficiencies. Uh, and like I say, we probably saved more than the other two partners because they knew they knew their situation better we found some dumb things we were doing uh so we got our money's worth but in terms of the big the, of the big picture of changing something uh that so many people have a vested interest in doing and there's one additional factor to it which is really interesting uh there's an ingenious aspect to it. It goes back to a fellow named, which didn't have any direct connection, but Beardsley Rummel. And uh, nobody's ever heard of Beardsley Rummel, but Beardsley Rummel in 1941 came up with the idea of the withholding tax. So people, instead of April 15th having to write a check and thinking how much they hated their politicians and hated the government and everything else, they actually looked at it as kind of a Christmas club and there were overpayments involved and they actually got a check when the final payment came due. So when you aren't writing the check yourself, you know, you, you may know that the health benefit from your company is worth $10,000 a year to you or 15,000. It may cost them that much, but it may cost the company that much, but you don't see it. So the company pays it. And most of the people in that waiting room sitting next to me, when they, they are not sitting there thinking about whether I can afford to do this, you know, or what's this going to do? They, they're, they're generally under some kind of a plan, not always, obviously, but uh, they don't think that if the company wasn't paying them that, they could pay them to that in additional compensation. But of course, the weird system is the company gets a deduction if they pay it, but if you pay it yourself on a policy, I don't believe you get a deduction. Of it. Uh, uh, so it's it's something that's most of the people are not seeing as a cost to them. And they, they like that pretty well. No uh, kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, but that's, that's true of the federal income tax. I mean, yeah. it, it was an act of genius from the standpoint of the government to go to a withholding system. And, and if, if you didn't, just think of how many people on April 15th would have to sit down and write a pretty good sized check. And, and they'd be mad. <laughs> they wouldn't <laughs> like it. And they don't feel it now. Uh, so we, we were up that, you know, that's an obvious point, but you also, people like their doctor in, in general, and they don't like the, the fact that it's 17% of GDP, but one is just kind of a, you know, amorphous sort of thing. And the other is very, very real to them. And the most prestigious people in the community are on the hospital boards. And the, a lot of people that, that, are fairly happy with the system. So so we did not make inroads on that. And we are paying 17% of GDP for health care, and no major country is more than 11%. And in the pandemic, you know, we've had a death rate, that, or a death total as the percentage of population that's way higher than the rest of the world, not every single country, but way, way higher. So, it, uh, uh, you know, we've laid out more money and gotten a poor result in terms of this particular pandemic in terms of deaths per capita. Now, that may not turn out to be the... Oh, Warren, even though you shot it and missed, you were at least shooting at an elephant. The cost of health care in Singapore is 20% of what it is in the United States, and their medical system works better. So you were shooting at a huge elephant. But as you found out, it's very hard to 
people to get very enthusiastic about losing part of their income. Oh, yeah. No, I, I said we, you know, we were fighting a tapeworm. Yeah. Uh, and the you American were, economy were. and the tapeworm won. <laughs> yeah, the tapeworm. The tapeworm. That, yeah. That's exactly good. Wonderful phrase. The tapeworm. <laughs>